So basically, we'll just ask you to, you can just talk to Lindsay's camera and introduce okay. yourself. Okay. Address Lindsay's camera, don't look at you at all. Is there going to be any questioning? Should I avoid bumping into the thing in my pocket, the box? Lindsay's camera, Hi, my name's Joe Matt. I'm a cartoonist. I did a few indie comics. Um, oh, this is babbling. Start over. Cut. Sorry, this is how I am. Hi, my name is Joe Matt. I'm a alternative cartoonist, I guess, for lack of a better label. I do a series of comic books called Peep Show. They got collected into some graphic novels. One of them is called The Poor Bastard. The other is called Spent. As the years go by, my productivity has slowed down to almost nothing. I, I barely work anymore. But I spend a lot of time watching DVDs, which I'm going to talk about. Um, my favorite DVDs here at Amoeba. Before I get into the DVDs that I really like the most, um, I'll talk about this book, Popeye. Popeye is one of my favorite comic strips. Um, this book came out maybe a year ago. It's volume one of six. To me, it's one of the top seven or eight comic strips of all time. Up there with uh, Peanuts, Crazy Cat, Gasoline Alley, Little Orphan Annie, Dick Tracy. There's only a handful of strips that I really love, and this is one of them. It's one of the few comic reads, comic strips that makes me laugh out loud as I read it, and uh, it's a must-have. And this was downstairs for 20 bucks at Amoeba. You're a fool not to buy it. I want to stress that I'm, I've always lived my life in, like, in a small little room, so space has always been a consideration, and I don't let DVDs or any object into my room without a lot of agonizing. But the DVDs I'm going to talk about now are my all-time favorites. I'll be taking them to my grave with me, and I'm going to start with my number one favorite DVD box set, The Art of Buster Keaton. Every single film here is a delight and fun to watch, and I can watch them over and over and over and never get sick of them. I would have paid anything for this. It, it could have been $500, $600. I would have paid whatever they wanted for this set because it's that essential. I must feel like I can guarantee you'll like it. And now, since I'm on the subject of uh, silent films, the other uh, two great silent filmmakers, performers, Charlie Chaplin and Harold Lloyd. Both of these box sets are amazing. There's two volumes to this Chaplin set. This is just one. I took out the films where he's the little tramp. City Lights, Modern Times, The Gold Rush, The Kid, and a bunch of short films he made. They're all great. And I got rid of the other films. I didn't want those as much. They weren't as essential to me. And the Harold Lloyd set's amazing as well. There's 25 sh films on here. I don't know how many hours, countless hours. It will take forever to watch this set. Space is such a consideration with me, like this fourth disc of biography I don't care about, and I ended up getting rid of that and keeping the others, because that's how I am. And now, moving on to animation, I'm gonna talk about, just coincidentally, Popeye again. To me, this is the, uh, the high mark of all animation DVD sets. Volume one of three that collects the Fleischer Brothers black and white Popeye cartoons. It's just diminishing returns as you get to volumes two and three, but I would push volume one on you without hesitation. Beautiful black and white cartoons. I can watch them endlessly, and I do. And I pray that there'll be a Betty Boop set similar to this, but it's still being held up because of licensing problems. I will now talk about my favorite TV shows, The Office. It's the only TV show that I own the DVDs to, because I can watch it repeatedly, and it will always make me laugh. It's the, this is the US version, not the, not the UK version. I don't want to see a UK version of these characters. I watched this one first, so I like this one better, even though I haven't watched the UK one, so I just don't care. Um, I'll watch it in time, I'm in no rush. But season five is on the air right now. Seasons one to four are on DVD. Um, every episode has about 10 minutes of deleted scenes on the discs. They're all great. They all kill me. I laugh nonstop, over and over again. My favorite show, comedy-wise. Um, my favorite serious show, The Wire. The Wire's the best. You've probably heard this from a lot of people already. It's about Baltimore, the cops, the drug dealers. Politicians, school systems, the school system. It's, it's got to be seen to be believed. Um, only five seasons. They're all in here. Um, it was an HBO series. 13 episodes per season, 13 hours a season. Uh, and each season gets better and better. It's, it starts off unbelievably great, and then each season gets better. And it's mind-blowingly satisfying. I always say this, I like, I like the subtitles because I like to catch every single word that everybody is saying. And it's rich, dense, and it's the closest experience I've had to watching a show that's like reading a book where you have to pay attention and you can't let your mind stray. And uh, it does, it's not, nothing is spoon fed to you. It's not like watching Lost or, or Dexter. It's not like watching any other TV show that just kind of washes over you and you, you just understand what's happening naturally. You really have to pay attention and uh, 
And that's why it's all the more satisfying. Greatest show ever. All right. And I guess that's it. Uh, I'm still waiting for the complete Laurel and Hardy and the complete Betty Boop on DVD. Uh, all right. Thanks, thank you, Joe. thank you. All right. Thanks for Are we out here? Uh-huh. We're done. Good. Short and sweet. And I want to hear all that. I need some new DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> Catch it on the site. I don't even want to know what I look like. How's it look? Great. Really? Yeah, it looks really mm -hmm. good. Right. The lighting and everything. Amoeba!